James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is August 3rd, 2022, 1 30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've had a Earth-facing sunspot explode and shoot a CME towards Earth, and it also created an associated tsunami on the surface of our sun. You see here that it's jumping all over the place. It looks like something between a C6.9 and C8.49, depending on the data. Let's take a look at that explosion, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to show you all it came from 3068 directly earth facing several new sunspots are coming around the limb that will soon be named that is the only earth facing sunspot currently named all right sunspot 3068 there it is you can see the large explosion the associated cme and tsunami wow looks much more powerful than what we're seeing I'm guessing that Lasco will not be covering that, folks. Actually, I'm sure it won't be because I'm looking at what time Lasco shut off, which was, of course, right before this occurred. We did see a pretty good blast. It was around 1700 UTC time and peaked around 710. A pretty short period flare right up right down in about 20 minutes uh, it wasn't as powerful as some of the flares that we do see but this one's definitely definitely earth bound we have a coronal mass ejection that's inbound you can see that this is our actual x-ray flux or absorption prediction center where did all the x-rays hit the United States, the Caribbean, and the north part of South America. Perfect hit. So it is inbound, ladies and gentlemen. So with that said, it's clearly visible on GOES at 195 angstroms. And I would expect solar plasma to be hitting planet Earth in about 40, 48 hours, something of that nature. We do also have a coronal hole that will soon be Earth-facing, which will shoot solar winds at our planet. God bless you and yours. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World.